Hi, and welcome to iRacing.com. Today we will be presenting black boxes and the delta split time function. Let's get started. In iRacing, we use black boxes to give us more information about what setup options we have for the car we are driving. Until recently, you needed to navigate the black boxes using the F keys, or by assigning keyboard or wheel buttons to them. While this function is still available, iRacing has added mouse functionality to all of these controls. Now we can easily click through all of the black boxes and settings. All cars have a lap timing box, standings, relative, fuel, tires, tire info, and graphics boxes. Many of the purpose-built race cars also have pit stop adjustments and in-car adjustments. Some other cars may not have pit or in-car adjustments. Let's go over the details in each black box. Lap timing gives you the details on your lap times. It displays your lap number, position, remaining time in the session, current lap time, last lap time, and best lap time. Standings displays all of the drivers that have entered this session, ordered by the fastest lap time. If it is a multi-class field, the different classes are distinguished by highlighted car numbers shown here. You can scroll through the standings by using your predefined increment, decrement keys or buttons. Relative displays all of the drivers on track ordered by the split time away from you. By default, this black box displays the cars closest to you on the track, but you can scroll up or down to see the positions of other cars. You are in orange text, and your time is always zero. Cars on the same lap as you are in white text. Cars that are a lap ahead of you are in red text. Cars that are in blue text are at a lap behind you. Using the relative black box, you can determine if you are involved in a racing or a non-racing pass. To quote the sporting code, in all cases, it is the responsibility of the faster car to overtake the slower car. It is the responsibility of the slower car to maintain a consistent line. It is strongly recommended that the slower car being lapped makes every reasonable effort to facilitate a safe pass. Fuel. Here you can choose how much fuel to add on your next pit stop. It also gives you remaining fuel and lap estimations. Note that these are estimations and you should err to the side of caution when deciding to pit for fuel. If your windshield is dirty, you can remove a windshield tear-off here for a clean view. Tires. Here you can choose to modify the tire pressure of new tires. If you change the tire pressure, the tire will automatically be selected for replacement. You can choose to replace tires individually by clicking their associated Replace checkbox. Any changes selected here will take place during your next pit stop. You cannot adjust the tire pressure of tires currently on the car. Tire Info displays temperature and wear data for each tire. You can use this data to determine what changes to make on your next pit stop. The temperature and wear shown in this black box are for the tires you most recently took off the car. No cars in iRacing currently provide real-time data for tires. Graphics Adjustments These adjustments are for the mirrors. This drop-down menu selects which mirrors you want to adjust. These two functions adjust that mirror. For example, if I want to adjust my rear view mirror to the right, I select Rear View, then adjust the yaw to the right. FOV stands for Field of View. This is not to be confused with the Zoom In or Zoom Out function, though it may seem that way. To get the most accurate field of view, enter your display parameters under Options, Graphics, then Display. Then use the FOV adjustment in the black box to adjust to your liking. Shift View shifts your view up or down. Adjust to your liking. And that's it for the street modified cars. Now we'll get to the adjustments for the purpose built race cars. Pit stop adjustments vary from car to car. With the Williams F1, we can adjust the front wing. The F1 car also has a number of in car adjustments, including numerous differential adjustments, engine adjustments, and even throttle response adjustments. With the Impala, SS, and Fusion, we can adjust the right rear spring offset and the front grill tape. From within the car, we can only adjust the brake bias. More front brake bias will make the car push on entry. Less will make the car loose on entry. Here's an example oval track pit stop. The scenario, our tires are worn and there are 20 laps to go. We need at least 4 gallons of fuel, and I also want 4 tires. I notice that the car tightens up a bit after about 10 laps, so we're going to make a chassis adjustment too. I want to loosen the car up, so we take one round of wedge out. Since we're adjusting the right rear spring, a higher number means less wedge. I could also add a half pound of air to the right rear tire, or take away a half pound from the right front, but we'll stick with just the wedge adjustment. Now that the pit stop is done, I see that my right front tire was significantly hotter than my right rear. Hopefully the change worked. 
The delta split times function is a great tool for improving your driving technique. It can be used to identify areas where you need improvement, and areas where you excel. While in the sim, hit tab. This will bring up the delta split time feature. The color of the bar indicates whether your lap time is improving or worsening. In other words, it is the rate of change of your lap time. It does not indicate that your lap is actually slower or faster. The number at the end of the bar indicates if your lap is slower or faster. Here are a few examples of the basic functionality of the delta split feature. Here we had a poor lap, but we made a good exit to the last corner before a long straight. The lap is slower, shown by this number, but the bar is green since we are improving our lap time relative to our best time. Here's another example. Here we had a good lap, but we made a mistake. The bar turns red as the lap begins to fall, but the lap is still faster. Despite being our fastest lap, we know that there is still room for improvement. By hitting the tab button again, you can cycle through the different references that the delta split function compares to. Versus best lap compares your all-time best lap at the current track in the current car. Versus optimal lap compares your all-time optimal lap. The optimal lap is generated by taking your best sector times to create a theoretical optimal lap time. Versus optimal sector compares your best sector times of your all-time optimal lap. The delta split monitor will reset at the end of each sector. Versus session best lap compares to your best lap turned only in this session. Versus session optimal lap compares to your optimal lap in this session. Session optimal lap is generated by taking the best overall sectors turned by you to create a theoretical lap. Versus session optimal sector compares to your best times in this session. The delta split monitor will reset at the end of each sector. Let's put the delta split time into action. During my last race, I noticed that I sometimes caught the car ahead of me at turns 2 and 3 at Okayama. Here are two clips of my original line. It seems okay, but after reviewing the iRacing Driving School, Part 3C, I found that this was a Type 3 compromised corner. So I changed my line and took turn 2 with the intent of setting up for turn 3. Let's see how that worked. The delta split bar shows the result. Not only did we make it through the segment faster, we carry much faster exit speed, improving the lap time all the way down the straight. Using the delta split time feature, we can see the results in real time. In this scenario, I am trying to find the fast line at Irwindale with the late model. Here I try the low line, and I gain some time at the entry of the corner, but we don't make any gains through the center or exit. Now I try the high line. As you can see, we lose a little time on entry, but we carry good speed through the center, and we carry that speed all the way down the straight, resulting in a much faster lap time. We can also see the effect of smooth driving versus aggressive driving. Here I get loose coming off the corner at Irwindale. While I was on the throttle earlier and harder, I lost time down the entire straightaway. These are only a few ways you can use the delta split time feature to improve your driving skills. Make regular use of this tool in test and practice sessions, and you will soon find new speed in new areas. We hope you enjoyed this how-to video. Thank you for watching, and see you on track.